it was nervous, robotic, nearly alien music. It must have come from over-programmed machines or overstimulated humans. It was the sound of de-evolution, manufactured by a nerdy, uniform-clad group called Devo. When their debut album, Are We Not Men, We Are Devo, came out on August 28, 1978, the Akron, Ohio band had already been honing their act for years. The group was formed by art students at Kent State University in the wake of the 1970s student shootings known as the May 4th Massacre, which targeted an anti-war protest that included Devo's Gerald Casal and Mark Mothersbaugh. Intended as a Dadaistic response to the turmoil and disappointments of the 60s, Devo took their name from their own philosophy of de-evolution, which predicted the regression of mankind due to technology and authoritarianism. Though many inventive bands, including Pear Ubu, the Electric Eels, and the Styrenes, were bubbling up down the road in Cleveland, in Akron, Devo created a hermetic world unto itself. They declared that individuality was dead and often dressed in matching yellow jumpsuits on stage, projecting the image of an absurd army. Their spastic, stripped-down rejection of bloated rock and roll imagined what a band of devolved humans would sound like. As Casal put it, we wanted to make outer space caveman music. Devo had self-released two singles, including a stiffened version of the Rolling Stones classic I Can't Get No Satisfaction, which writer Clinton Halen called a mechanical jerk-off, when in 1977, a friend passed their music to Iggy Pop and David Bowie, who were both smitten. Later that year, at a show in New York, Bowie introduced Devo as the band of the future. Soon after, word of Devo traveled to Brian Eno, whose band Roxy Music was a big influence on the group. In early 1978, Devo flew to Germany to record Are We Not Men, We Are Devo with Eno in the studio of legendary producer Connie Plank. Eno created his own sounds to add to every song, but Devo only used a few of them, confident in their sharply defined vision of how de-evolutionary music should sound. With a title adapted from a chant in the film version of H.G. Wells' dystopian novel The Island of Dr. Moreau, Are We Not Men, We Are Devo presents Devo as a hybrid of man and machine, it's filled with rigid rhythms, but also flooded with barely contained energy. Opener, Uncontrollable Urge is a quivering cycle of tension and release, as sped-up guitar chords unleash waves of hyperactivity. During the circus-like Jocko Homo, band members shout the album title back and forth eerily, as if brainwashing themselves. On Gut Feeling, Slap Your Mammy, they combine lockstep beats and frantic crescendos into a rush of sonic chaos. Devo would soon streamline their sound, morphing it into music so accessible that they landed in the top 40 with the ultra-catchy Whip It. But Are We Not Men, We Are Devo remains the definitive statement of their pioneering sound and philosophy. If nothing else sense sounds like it, perhaps that's because only the men who invented de-evolution knew how to turn it into music. <laughs> 